lovely interlude Most romantic mood And your attitude is right, dear Sweetheart You have me under a spell Now my dream is real that is why I feel such a strong appeal to nerve. Somehow, all my reason takes flight, dear. I'm in the mood for love, simply because you're near me. Heaven is in your eyes Bright as the stars we're under Oh, is it any wonder I'm in the mood for love Why stop to think of weather this little dream might fade We've joined our hearts together Now we are one I'm not afraid If there's a cloud above If it should rain, well, let it Fun song. Um, I did a video of this nine years ago. It must have been one of my first videos I did, but I did not have the verse that led up to this chorus. And then I found the verse just recently, and I worked it out into the same key as I did the song sheet nine years ago in, and that's the key of D. I think the song sheet is in the real sheet music. I think maybe in the key of C. And of course, my 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 arrangements are not like the, this the um, uh, sheet music because. Uh, many times either they don't work for my ear without a piano or um, I'm working into a different key and so I use my ear what chords work they sound good to me so as I mentioned before all my song sheets are a framework for fun you can print them out at from eucsterbrown.com get them and work on your own arrangement um, or use it as is that being said I left the introduction the same as my original song sheet also. It's F sharp minor 7, which is 2-4-2-4, two, four, two, four, down to a D sharp diminished, or a C diminished, that's what it's called, to an E minor 7, to an A7, to a D, to an E minor 7, and then your first note is an A. Lovely interlude, most romantic mood. But if you don't want to sing that, that introduction verse, uh, that same introduction works for just the chorus part. It just, and that's what I originally wrote it for was... Excuse my rushing here, just to not bore you. I'm in the mood for love, simply because you're near me. So the, in, the intro works for both versions, whether you just started the chorus or whether you started the verse. That being said, this is a fantastic song to work on this shape that is easily practiced at six seven six seven or uh, five seven five seven. Excuse me, one two three four five five seven five seven. Because most of our ukuleles now have these dot markers where you got it at the five and the seven. And this shape is, uh, if you play it five seven five seven, I play with my pointer on the fourth string. Uh, ex yeah, fifth fret. I put my middle finger on the 5th fret 2nd string 
Then I play my ring finger on the third string seventh fret and my pinky down on the first string seventh fret. So nothing is on the sixth fret. There's a gap there. Now this shape is movable because you're un under control of all, all four strings are under your control. Right here, you can shut them off. And you can move them, just keeping that gap in there. And you're sliding them down, sliding them down, sliding them up, sliding them up. Maintaining that gap in between your fingers. And you can go back down to the 5757. And the, uh, where you're going to encounter this is right away when we begin out with an F sharp minor 7. It's 2-4-2-4. Two, four, two, four. And then the next chord, uh, let's see. Yeah, that, that's on the intro, and then we go down to a D-sharp diminished or a C diminished. We just slide those two fingers down, taking away that gap. And you could just pick up these two fingers and leave your ring and your pinky on and slide down to an E minor 7. A, D, E minor 7, A7. Okay? And you'll encounter that F-sharp minor 7 a couple places, but what makes it pretty is this kind of walk down from here to that C diminished or the D sharp diminished, whichever name you prefer to give it, down to the E minor 7. So that 5757 five, is a good place to practice that, to, to get yourself familiar with it. Uh, the song is pretty self-explanatory. Other than that, you'll just have a couple of gaps on there. And uh, I do have another tool, uh, a song sheet and a video explaining one little practice thing. I always like to make practice fun. Uh, we have enough thing going on that we want another job, so we don't want our practicing to be work. We want it to be playtime. We want to play our ukuleles, right? So I make up little songs with the techniques that I want to learn. So if you look up Waikiki Shepherd or... Uh, Choral C6, I think is what I call this. This starts out right at uh, 4646 four, six, and then slides up to 5757. Seven. And this is one that will help you kind of move that shape around because it just goes like this. And I'll play it rather quickly so you get the gist of it. Here we go, 5656. Five, six. back at five six five six again to uh, er, er, excuse me four six four six and then up to five seven five seven back to five seven five seven I've got a friend who um, doesn't feel as confident in, in his strumming. He's a, a good chord melody player and he's got a lot of dexterity here and in his finger picking. Uh, where I, I really love strumming and that whole thing going on here. He uses the same tool um, as far as the shapes and the, the song goes, but he plays it differently. And that's fine because what I want you to do or would like for you to do if you'd want to is to use this as a way to get used to moving around the fingerboard because here's this five seven five seven and then up here it's just an F7 shape here's your F7 slide it up to your 8th fret down to your 6th fret down to 5th fret so there I have a little bit of a transition but you can look up Coral C6 or uh, Waikiki Shepherd is the name of that song sheet that's on nukesbrown.com Otherwise, this is the song, I'm in the Mood for Love, made famous by many crooners, but one of my famous was, favorite was Alfalfa of Our Gang Little Rascals fame. Have fun. Go over to Easter Brown. Get this framework for fun. Make it your fun song. Have fun with it.